Hey everybody, my name is Leon Chen. Welcome back to Gigabyte's Motherboards and Bricks channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Z170X Gaming 3 motherboard. Now we're going to do an unboxing and overview for you, so we're going to go around the box and we'll take out all its contents and show you what you get out of it. So starting off, right off the bat, you can actually see that we have Tychus here from Heroes of the Storm. Now this is actually our limited edition Heroes of the Storm uh, Gaming 3 motherboard, so there's going to be some additional, uh, additional add-ins or accessories inside for you to have. Now for this board, you can actually see it supports the Intel Z170 chipset, which has an LGA 1151 and that's good for the 6th generation core processors. It supports DDR4, the new DDR platform, as well as it sports a USB Type-C connector, as well as USB 3.1. So let's bring this around to the back so you can see more information about all of these features. So on the back, you can actually see that we're talking about that USB 3.1 again, but just so you guys know, Gigabyte's actually one of the only manufacturers out there using the official Intel USB 3.1 controller. The USB 3.1 standard operates at 10 gigabits per second, but with this controller, we have a bandwidth of up to about 16 gigabits per second. So just something for you guys to know when you guys are shopping out there for the next generation connector uh, for USB 3.1. We also have the Type-C connector. And this Type-C connector supports a lot of various protocols from power delivery to data, video, and audio. So all of these things you can find for that connector as well. We also have, with Gigabyte Gaming Boards, our exclusive amp up audio technology. And this, of course, comes with SBX uh, X53 from Creative. We also have a killer NIC for gaming. And then we, we also have different items for our amp up audio such as our removable op amp, our high end audio capacitors, our audio noise guard that is actually a trace LED to give your system a little bit more effect, USB DAC ups, and of course with Gigabyte boards we're very well known for our solid capacitors and on this board you'll find of course dual M.2s, a turbo B clock, and one piece stainless steel metal shielding and all of these we're going to cover when we get down to the board level. So let's open up this box and show you guys the contents and you guys can see what we have to offer. Alright, so here's everything out of the box for the Gaming 3. Now we're going to put the board aside and we'll talk about the accessories first and we'll come back to the board to show you the different features that it has on it. So right here out of the box, you're going to get a user's manual, a multilingual installation guide, an NVIDIA SLI bridge, two, uh, four SATA connectors, two of them being right angle connectors and two of them being straight. And then you're also going to get a G1 gaming badge for your case. And also you have a G connector, which we'll talk about a little bit later for installation. It's actually very useful to help speed up that process and to make it a little bit easier so you're not trying to maneuver inside a small case. And of course we also have the padded rear I.O., which is very nice here. And we actually illustrate a USB DAC, which we'll talk about as well and you have the, update, the most up-to-date drivers since the board was uh, shipped out. So this is a driver for the Gaming 3 right here. Now, for this board, because it's actually a limited edition, earlier we saw on the case it has uh, special characters on it. Uh, we, we also include a door hanger, so you can actually place this on your door if you're playing a game you don't want to be bothered, or if you're trying to focus, you can let people know that, hey, you know, try not to come into the room or something. So this is definitely something that we've included with the limited edition Heroes of the Storm box. We also have this pamphlet here and if you click here we'll give you more information on our other video on the sweepstakes for uh, Heroes of the Storm that we're launching. And this sweepstakes ends on December 31st. And you have the chance to win mice, headsets, and other cool prizes and even a trip to Anaheim, California where you can attend BlizzCon 2015. So check out this link, scan the QR code, find out more information for the Heroes of the Storm sweepstakes from Gigabyte. So let's go over to the board and we'll see what other features it has for us today. So 
So right here, this is our Gaming 3, and you can actually see it has very nice aggressive coloring this time. Black heat sinks with red on them, uh, black and red DDR4 slots. This board supports, like we mentioned, the 100 series platform, which is the Intel 6th generation core processors. It has an LGA 1151 socket and four DDR slots for you to actually do dual channel DDR. You have your ATX24 pin, two USB 3.0 connectors for uh, front panel connectivity, and of course with the Skylake platform, Intel natively supports three SATA Express connectors. And Gigabyte has some other accessories that you can actually use with these SATA Express connectors if you guys want to do a front panel USB 3.1. So check out the Gigabyte site for more information on accessories like that where we actually utilize these connectors in the front. Right below that, we actually have our front panel pin headers for our case. And this is where that G connector comes into place. Earlier we were talking about the G connector where it's useful and it helps to save some time. After you have your motherboard mounted inside your case, you can actually use this G connector and connect all your pin headers directly to it. It accepts the pin header so you have that lower Z height and the clips right here actually attach to it so when you want to remove the G connector from the front panel pin headers, you can actually just pull on one of the cables to remove the whole thing rather than having the connector stuck inside the slot. Now moving next to it, we have uh, two USB 2.0 pin headers a TPM pin header and a COM port pin header as well. And then this board also supports, right here there's actually a special connector for Thunderbolt. Now this connector allows you to have this board capable of supporting Thunderbolt 3 and USB uh, Thunderbolt, th mainly Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 2. So you can actually add Thunderbolt. If you want to do any large file transfers uh, and you want something faster, this is definitely something to consider and Gigabyte offers this solution as well. Right here we have our audio zone for uh, Gigabyte's exclusive amp up audio technology and you can see that here's a removable op amp right here. Now this op amp can actually be changed to a different operational amplifier for whatever you want to use it for. So if you're looking to have music with bassier sounds or a higher tone, you can actually choose the op amp of your choice and just replace it into that socket right there. We also have the front, front panel audio pin headers. And then right above that, we have some gain switches. On this board, you're actually able to switch between a 2.5x gain to a 6x gain. So it's useful for those of you guys that have high-end audio headphones. Now, I know some of you guys have uh, provided some feedback saying the high-end audio headphones are usually for the lar larger jack, but there are adapters out there that you guys can use. So this will be useful for those of you guys that have spent some money on high-end headphones as well. And we also have our audio noise guard trace path lighting that you can see right here. And this actually lights up. And in our app center, you can actually choose between the different lights that it has. So you can actually have it stay on, you can have it pulse on and off, or beat to the sound of your music. So definitely something to add a little bit more flair to your motherboard and your system as well. We also have on this board, as you can see earlier we were talking about that one stainless steel one piece metal shielding. Right here, we actually have special metal shielding that surrounds that PCI Express slot, and it does one of two things. It actually helps to prevent uh, heavier graphics cards from ripping out the slot or actually bending it. And it also, these slots are actually grounded at four points around the PCIe slot to actually prevent any ESD. So any interference coming from the card to the board is prevented and any interference coming from the board going to the card is also prevented. So that's one of the useful features that you'll find on a lot of Gigabyte 100 series motherboards this time around. We also have our Turbo B Clock. Now this Turbo B Clock, for those of you gamers out there, you guys might not be familiar with overclocking, but it's a good way to get some added performance out of your system. If you're on a budget build, you want to go with an i5 k skew processor, you can actually overclock that k skew to perform almost as well as an i7 processor. So this Turbo B Clock actually removes the limits previously set where you're actually uh, forced to stay within 5% of your straps of 100, 133, and 167. So that's what this Turbo B Clock, it actually allows you to go from 90 all the way up to 200 for your base clock. 
We also have dual M.2 connectors, and these M.2 connectors actually operate at 32 gigabits per second. So a lot faster if you guys wanted to do any RAID functionality, which it does support, you can actually RAID these and have uh, dual M.2s at 32, rather than having SATA connectors at only six. So that's a good functionality for those of you guys that want to go all out this time, get something with the best performance possible, you can actually use M.2 for next generation storage, okay? All right, so that basically sums it up for the front part of the board. Let's go to the rear I.O. to give you guys more information on the different connectivity options that you have available to you. So right here on the back, we actually see our PS2 port. I know a lot of you guys aren't really happy with seeing these sometimes, but we do get a lot of pro gamers out there requesting that we do put PS2 on our motherboards because it has a lower latency and it, it has better response time overall. And it's good because it doesn't require any drivers for, from the USB. So we also have two USB DAC ups. Now these are actually in yellow and we talked about it earlier when we were looking at that padded rear I.O. These two USB 2.0 ports are actually on its own power grid and you can actually shut it off or turn it on depending on what you want to do with it. So it's actually developed for audiophiles who actually have self-powered DACs, digital analog converters, and you can actually get data signal directly out of here without supplying power. So it's good for those that are trying to mix music, do any type of DJing, but it's also good for users that want to have a cleaner signal out of here. So you can actually enable the power and connect your USB keyboard or mice and actually use it to have a cleaner signal overall so you have that better response time as well. Moving over, we have that VGA, D-sub, as well as a DVI-D. And then right next to that, you can actually see this different port. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with it, this is actually our USB Type-C connector. Now again, Gigabyte's one of the only manufacturers out there that's using the Intel official chip to power this Type-C connector. And that chip allows for different protocols such as audio, video, data, or even power delivery. So we have that available to users as well that get a Gigabyte motherboard. So we have this Type-C that supports USB 3.1. Right next to that, you see this red connector. This red connector is actually also USB 3.1, but in a standard A. So this is a standard A type uh, USB connector. And this is good for users that want to have flexibility uh, because Gigabyte has offered to have the standard A connector as well as future proofing with the type C connector. Right above that, we have our USB 3.0. And then right next to that, we have HDMI, if you want to be using integrated graphics for a home theater system, and then also two more additional uh, USB 3.0s, and the killer NIC right above it. And then, of course, our audio connectors with a SPDIF right here as well. Okay, so basically that sums it up for all the features that we see on the board. If you guys are interested in seeing any other reviews, please feel free to let us know. We'll try to make some time to shoot those videos. And of course, always like and subscribe the page. Let us know what you think. We love to hear comments and feedbacks that you guys might have for us. So if you guys want any more information, check out the information below and see you guys next time.